Hello everyone, it's Magazin Fjord and today I will show you a totally new uh, Google Bypass account method and for that you will have to use one application which is called Octoplus Samsung and here it is so but anyway I will show you how to do that but before guys so what do you get you you go into start and you other uh, bypass the Wi-Fi you just skip that and then you're going to another way going further and anyway you are getting stuck to your Google account and you're not able to use to get into the service so uh once you get this information so what you have to do you have to turn the your device and then you will have to get into a download mode so make sure that it's turned off completely turned off and then um i will show you how to do that i'm not sure uh if you, on this device you have to put volume button down then the home button and power button so you just do that simultaneously and hold for a few seconds and this is what you get you get a warning a custom rom can cause critical problems in phone and installed applications but anyway guys this is what we have to do so we have to click volume up because in order to continue and we do when we do so we are here in a download mode so here we are and this is all information and uh, now we have to put the the original cable because it's very important to have the original one into our device make sure guys that you have installed latest Samsung USB drivers on your computer because otherwise you will not be able to make anything and um, so what do you do next you have to click on the this octopus Samsung tool but make sure that you buy this because otherwise you will have either to crack but I couldn't find it and you have to run as administrator but as i told you before you have to purchase this application because otherwise you will not be able to open that and you will see the notification which shows that card not found even though it's for samsung but still it's not working so guys i will show you um how it i was doing and uh, how other youtubers are doing that so that you will understand that so make sure that your device is in the download mode and uh, soon I will show you how it is done so so what you do you go into Qualcomm and once the this application is open and you are searching for your device and uh, for example in our case it will be a G uh, because this is a Galaxy S6 Edge this will be a G925 uh, F and we are finding that and what we do next once uh, the phone model is um, correct we click on the uh, reset FRP reactivation so make sure that you click on that and you will see the lock will be changing and then um reset frp on this device and then continue so make sure to do that and uh, after doing that your device will be installing this system and once it's done just make sure that you will um after you're finishing that you will have to restore your um device and then restart your device and then do a factory reset because this will help you and uh, just delete all information so 
and uh, once it's done you will you will see that it's um, being restarted and uh, for example you will see such a logo like this just the device is uh, being powered on and soon you will see that it's being done okay so we see that it's still restarting and you have to wait for three to four minutes then go back up and rest and factory reset and do not turn off your device so um so this is very simple guys and I don't think that it's very difficult to do but uh, anyway you will have to put some effort in order to that so um, I will show you how where you have to download this application so uh, basically you can just uh, tap in to Google Octoplus box Samsung well, latest crack, it didn't work because it doesn't have this FRP. So make sure you don't do that. You just click on the software of software Octopus Plus Plus box. And then here are some choices. And for example, Octoplus suit, Samsung installer. Yes, I tried everything here and Shell and uh, G. The AG Pro and everything that I could find here but nothing works so it's very important that you have to buy this product because otherwise you will not be able to 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 work it because I uh, know I tried many things but still it, I wasn't successful so it's very important and, um, and here also, that's a download section in another page. So here's everything the same. And uh, usually it takes uh, like a few minutes to, do, to download that. And uh, just hold on, I will show you how um, I'm just making a FRP reset. So just hold on. I'll show you that. Okay, so our device starting. So see here uh, Samsung logo, and then we get. Now it, it it's okay. It's been removed, so we can just go on. Okay, so it's simply done. You can see most of the things we're skipping and then just clicking on the finish. And that's it. So I think what you have to do, you have to get into the software. And then search for about device. And then this is the model, Galaxy S6 Edge. And uh, basically it's either here, or also you can find that on the backup and reset. So what you do here, you just 
factory data data reset and just click that and then you click reset device so everything will be deleted and um, what is mentioned here so make sure that you back up your device so guys um that's it and um, thank you for watching uh please check my uh, facebook account because it's been recently added and also you can donate me by paypal and uh, please don't forget to subscribe uh, comment below and if you have any questions don't hesitate just ask and maybe i could help you so this uh, this video is as you can see it's not so uh, very sophisticated but still anyway um i'll be trying to find this octoplus samsung installer cracked version so that the most recent one so that most of you guys will be able to download that and uh, do that everything by yourself and uh, i also will need to do that so thank you and peace out